Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Everybody's here for some summer favourites. What were your favourites? Trees? Can you like use your normal voice? That's not how you talk. You're not usually like, hey. Here come some summer favourites. What was your favourite? I don't know. Lots of kinds of different favourite things to have and hold. <laughs> I think favourite videos are really like 2017, but you have to forgive us, we're over 30, we don't know what's happening anymore. First category, instruments. What? So I've got an old favourite today, and this is my 415 Alto by Joachim Roma. I bought this nearly 20 years ago. Were you looking at no, it? Not <laughs> inspecting it closely. I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Close my eyes and, and sway? Just just, li just listen, I'm just giving a musical example. What's your favourite note this summer? My favourite note would be... I'd say an A-flat could be a summery note. It's bright red, it's very clear. Mm. This recorder is so special to me, it's taken me through all my baroque repertoire i've gone through phases of playing it all the time recently i've been playing a lot of solo recitals um some bach some bieber passacaglia on this instrument and it's just mm. let's do another one my turn to do a favorite instrument oh, okay of summer my favorite doing... instrument of summer are we doing this? this that i have been playing all summer <laughs> Leave it up to you to decide if John has actually been doing that all summer. <laughs> Could go either way. My second instrument that I've been playing a lot this summer, which you'll no doubt be asking about, is the. What am I doing? Cello. Oh, oh bassoon. Yeah. <laughs> Bassoon. Where's my bassoon? Yeah. My bassoon journey was wonderful, was special, was exciting, was educational, was revelating. Is that weird? But it's over. I rented my bassoon for three months. Those three months are up, and at that point, another actual bassoonist needed the bassoon so it has been passed on a lot of you are asking am i going to become a professional bassoonist the answer simply is no because i'm a recorder player at heart and i don't have hours in the day to become a bassoonist too i'm sorry but i really feel like i'm that i'm saying like oh our old cat went to live on a farm somewhere <laughs> and think i've got one what yeah you didn't know yeah, we have a bassoon. John's music theatre comedy group apparently has bassoon. Great that I knew that. Ah! I know, that was cool. Oh no, was it? Ah! Yeah. It's in A flat. Oh, back to the A flat. Summer. Next up, there's a new publisher in town and John is going to love this because they are duets. Do the US? What? Duets. Oh, duets. Oh yeah, I love duets. I was sent a pile of music from the lovely Basilisk editions. They're based in Switzerland. It's a selection of music, both of pieces and composers that are not often published and in duet and trio form. So it's really nice for chamber music. We've got a lot of the sonatas by Claire Nicolas Roger. The Roger has everything in modern and facsimile notation. This is very cool. We have duets for Descant and Tenor together. Oh Renaissance God. duets by Antonio Gardano. Oh. Mm. Oh. And these are for Tenor and Bass Recorder. And we have a couple of Irish and Scottish trios. So this is folk music arranged for trio in a bit more of a classical um, setting that we don't often see. Thanks, Raphael, for sending it. Should we play something? Yeah. We need recorders. Um, in that box, you'll find a Descant. No, it's the brown one. The brown kind of crescent moon shaped one. No, crescent moon. No, that's not a crescent moon. Yeah. Is this not a crescent moon? Yes! Stop it. You didn't 
compliment me on my play. Your playing was good. <laughs> I haven't played recorder in years. That's like, not, that's not true. Yeah. It is true. You play recorder all the time. Uh, my favorite publication of the summer would have to be this pamphlet for the dragon flute. As you can see, the flutes have dragons. This man, who I've met before, look how he enjoys his flute. John's being facetious, but I do love good dragon flute. Yeah, uh, it's a good pamphlet. So, the other sheet music I've been really getting into, I don't have in my hands because it's digital. If you surf the world wide web, you'll find a plethora of digital scores. Um, plethora? What? You say plethora? I've actually never said it before. I'm pretty sure it's plethora. Is it? Not certain now that. Hey no, Siri. Ple- plethora of. Do you say plethora or plethora? Okay, I found this on the web for our digital of digits. Do you say plethora or plethora? Check it out. No <laughs> <laughs> way. Plethora asked it. or plethora. So I think it's pretty much plethora. I mean, I tried. That's I tried okay. a new word. I'm no, proud of myself good. for it's that. Good. I mean, we all do that. I said ethereal for years. <laughs> Not that I use that word either much. In Lord yeah. of the Rings, like half the words in Lord of the Rings is, is ethereal. Ethereal. I actually also, until this year, thought it was nuptials <laughs> and not nuptials. I like that. What's New- your favourite summer mispronunciation? <laughs> I just wanted to use it in a sentence. We did nuptials. What? <laughs> Where was I? <clears throat> um. Chamber music. You wouldn't believe it, but I have been a professional teacher this past summer. Um, Finally, 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 after three years, I've been back at in-person teaching this summer. I can't tell you how good it has been. I have been absolutely loving the chamber music scores by AK Music. I've used them on summer schools this year in Sweden and in England, and they went down really, really well. It's really nice for the players because there's a selection of easier parts, harder parts, each part has something to do. And for the conductor and teacher, it's really nice because you've got all the parts in different clefs. Everything is arranged so that you can just step in front of your ensemble and go. And when you've got a week's worth of music to prepare, I can tell you that's very valuable. If you run a recorder ensemble, go and check it out. This is also a summer favorite. My jumper. Oh, cool jumper, yeah. Who got you that? Definitely one of the things that I have been using the most this summer has been earplugs. I was aggressively targeted by Instagram's targeted ads telling me to get loops, get loops, get loops. I did, and I'm very pleased with them. Loops are basically earplugs that also look nice. I actually treated myself to two versions. These are the Experience Pro. These can take you down by 18 decibels and you even have a little mute that you can add in and then you go down 23 decibels. These ones I use out and about if I need a little bit of quiet and I use them for sound checks. As I've discussed before, I don't do well with sudden loud sounds, so I can find I can find sound checks and building up quite stressful because there's sometimes pops and cracks that I'm not expecting. So I just pop these in and I'm all good. They come with four different sizes. You can choose between the bendy silicone ones or the foam ones um, and you can choose to have the mutes in black or white so you can personalise them. I like to have the extra small silicone inserts. I also got the quiet set which takes you down 27 decibels. These I got in pink And I use these if I really need quiet and sometimes I use them to sleep. I always resisted wearing earplugs because I thought, oh no, if I start wearing earplugs, I'll become really reliant on them. But to be honest, they've made everything better and easier. So I'm happy. Speaking of loops, I also want to show you my current favorite loop station. Oh my gosh, is that a loop station? See what I did there? Wow. This was gifted. Thank you, Donna. They sent me their circle looper. I've tried a few loop stations and I like this because it's very easy to record, to undo and to re-record. And it's got a drum machine. What? Can I be asked to set this all up now? No. So I'm just gonna put in a couple of little clips of me playing with it. Whoosh. used 
this in my solo set recently what? and also in a production I'm in called Millennial History. Oh, cool. So it's had a lot of outings. Oh yeah. Mm. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Next up is a book by Dr. Devon Price called Unmasking Autism. And this I really recommend if you are autistic yourself or if you know and love an autistic person. I know a lot of my viewers are autistic and I just wanna say, I love you. What I really like about it is that it's written by an actual autistic person. In my experience, a lot of the literature on autism tends to be written by neurotypical people aimed at the parents of autistic children, which depending on your situation might be helpful and might be really not. It's got lots of um, affirming stories in there, but also really helpful step-by-step -step advice. Like if you feel like this, then you might need this, then you can do this. And you finish the book not thinking like, oh, autism, that sounds challenging, but like, ha, yes, amazing. It's very like affirming and positive and optimistic. So I really appreciate that. Uh, do your little knitting. It's not knitting. <laughs> it's not little. Show them your cool embroidery. It's not little, it's humongous. Show them your tremendous feat of embroidery. What a triumph. I have a new hobby. <laughs> Aside from learning the bassoon, I've had a very exciting summer. Sounds like I'm mocking, but I'm not. I think it's really cool, actually. Yeah. I, I it's got, super cool. I got really into cross stitch. There's something, I just find it so soothing and calming and it's creative in a completely different way. I made this little mountain landscape. I just wanted to show you that. It's so nice to have something relaxing to do. I recommend it to all of you. For you, it's probably playing the recorder. Uh, <laughs> John! Right now, what you've all been waiting for, John's 2022 summer favourite rundown. All right, let's see. Miami Dolphins training camp because the Dolphins look good this year. I like the Tyreek Hill acquisition. I like him combined with Jalen Waddle. That opens up the field. Two is going to have a good year. He's underrated and underestimated. Uh, the looks right, the 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 Next summer favorite is this incredible cycling cap that my best friend from Japan, Misa, brought me, who's here visiting. It's handmade by A Nishi Cycle Cap Works. What's my last favorite? Oh my gosh, I can't think. So many favorites. It's like you don't have to do it. Yeah, fast. I do. I have to do them all. Blue snail with a gold gel. Blue snail with a gold gel. This is not a joke. John has actually been playing with this blue snail all summer. You can tickle your nostrils. Okay. <laughs> is anything else? What about music, John? You are a professional musician. Uh, I think musically, my summer highlight has been not having to play music. No, because sometimes he looks fast and sometimes he looks slow. That's his trick because he's a master of deception. Okay, so <laughs> it's time to it's time to end this here. This is the end of Summer Favourites. You're my Summer Favourite. Aw, thanks. You're my Summer Favourite too. You know, we've been together for 13 years. 13 years, years now. <laughs> Possibly the most chaotic Summer Favourites ever, but that's life with John. Chaotic good, lawful neutral. <laughs> it's true. Links down below. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking down here. Over here's the Team Recorder Patreon if you want to support the channel. And here's more videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye. bye.